Yo, 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 what's up with the Facebook family? It's Ant coming to you live here from my home here in Dallas, Texas. Hey, as you're coming on in, feel free to let me know where you're tuning in from. You know, what part of the country you may be tuning in from. Uh, off the, you know, just all of that. What part of the world? Travis, welcome, welcome. Hey, yeah, as you're coming on in, feel free. Let me know where you're tuning in from, you guys. Hey, we're going to get kicked off here in just a second. You know, like the top, uh, like the... Like the title said, uh, the topic today is going to be about momentum. And uh, something I was just reading out of the compound effect. And I felt, I said, hey, I think people could actually uh, could use this. Uh, you know, because we kind of talked about habits, bad habits, you know, sacrifices, choices. So we talked about a couple of things last week that I feel that lead up to this. Uh, because once you start doing those good habits and you start implementing them in, and, uh, you know, a lot of people want to know what's the next step. And so the next step is you're going to start to see some momentum. So we're going to talk about that just a little bit more here in just a second here when we come on in. But, hey, like I mentioned, as you're coming in, feel free to let me know where you're tuning in from, what part of the country, what part of the world. And we're going to get kicked off here. All right. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get things kicked off. Like always, I love to start off with a, with a question, you know, just to kind of get your mind going here. But my question for everybody today is, have you ever felt momentum in your life? And maybe something you were doing or or would you like to create momentum? You know, and a lot of people may or may not understand how momentum goes. Uh, but I'll kind of break it down for you. Break it down and it's kind of, to be honest, it's kind of like going back to being in school, thinking about physics class. You know, you, you think about Newton's first law. You know, his first law with something like this, hey, <laughs> an object that's at rest, you know, it tends to stay at rest unless it's acted upon an outside force. So pretty much meaning that if you got an object that's sitting still, it's not going to move until something else comes and picks it up or pushes it along or moves it out the way. But also it goes like this, an, ob an object in motion tends to stay in motion. So if it's moving along, it's going to stay in motion unless something stops it, a wall comes, or or something of that nature. So that's kind of how your momentum is in, in your life, in your business, in, in, your, in your job, if you're in sports, in sports, in school. It's pretty much all just like that, you know, momentum. And uh, momentum is, is very, very powerful, um, definitely in business and everything. Said it was a little hard to hear me. Hopefully, this is better for everybody. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully, everybody can hear me a little bit better here. Uh, sorry about that, but hey. So it's kind of like this, man. If if you're a couch potato, guess what? You're probably gonna tend to stay a couch potato till you get up and do a little something different. Uh, it just works like that, you know. But you know, you think about the achievers, the people that have a success in your life or around you or something of that nature. Uh, well, pretty much it works like this. You know, achievers are people who have like a success rhythm in their life. You know, they continue to pretty much bust their butt every single day, even when things seem hard, like, you know, they don't want to do it. They just keep on pushing. And that's kind of what an achiever is. You know, momentum itself depends on movement. So if you want momentum in your business and in your life, you, you want more successful things to happen, hey, you're going to have to get up and move. Some of those daily good habits that you implement, you're going to have to do them every single day. And it may take six months or so. But guess what? That momentum is going to move along very, very powerfully, you know, and it's going to help you out in all areas of your life. And I think back to like kind of like when my business, when I had the most success in my business because I generated momentum. I was doing the little things every single day, every single day, every single day. And then guess what? It clicked. And it just seemed like it just kept going and going and going and going. It's kind of like riding a bicycle. You get on, you're not moving nowhere. You just get on top of the bike and it's like a car. You get in there, it's not going nowhere. But as soon as you put it in park, or as soon as you start pedaling, guess what? You start moving. And, of course, you're not going your fastest at the very beginning. You start building up momentum 
is you start pressing the gas pedal down or you start pedaling the pedals a little harder. And that's kind of how it's like. You start getting it and you start going. It's kind of like when you, uh, when you, uh, you know, you, you making calls for your business, sending out text messages, reaching out to people, following up with people. As you keep on going in your business, you keep on going and you keep on going. Guess what? Eventually it's going to click and it's going to hit that, you know, those couple of people that's going to run with you. And then it just seems like momentum and then you just go. That's what your life is like. You want to know why successful people stay successful? It's most of the time because they get into momentum and they never look back. They always put, making bigger and better goals and having adding to their dreams and things like that. So they adding to it and they keep on rolling, y'all. Keep on rolling. And uh, oh, I want to give y'all this example. The example of Michael Phelps. Well, we all know back in was it 2008? I think it was. You know, he won all those gold medals and everything. But something I was reading, and, uh, you know, I went and did some more research on it. But some just, long story short, this is something that hit me. You know, his coach, his coach, his mentor, like I always talk about, find somebody that holds you accountable. His coach was real big on consistency. Real big on it. Real, real big on consistency. So doing something every single day, even when you didn't feel like it, you know, going through all the sickness and everything like that. So out of 12 years, Pretty much get this, you guys. Out of 12 years of training with this guy, do you know he only left practice early one time for for his one of his for somebody he knew's little event. 12 years, get that. 12 years, he only left practice early one time. That's what I'm talking about. Consistency. If you want big things to happen out of your life, you got to stay consistent, even when it doesn't look like anybody's maybe liking or commenting on your stuff or maybe nobody's answering your phone calls or maybe nobody's uh you know nobody's seeing your improvement at your basketball skills nobody's seeing improvement on that the sees the improvement that you're doing on the football field hey you stay consistent you keep pushing nobody's you know seeing the improvement in your grades even though it went up from an 81 to 83 you know nobody's really seeing improvement because it's not a big improvement but hey, if you keep pushing, you keep studying, you keep practicing, you keep going, guess what? The momentum will catch on, y'all. It will catch on in any endeavor of your life. You'll start to have success to your wild, you know, your wildest dreams. But you got to, you got to do it every single day, even when you don't feel like it. it's kind of like working out. You do it every single day, even when you're tired. You know, just starting up. You just starting up. It, it's kind of like the merry-go-round. You know. I know the kids don't really have merry-go-rounds nowadays, but growing up, when we was growing up, it was a merry-go-round at the park. It was. You know, you can have all those people on the merry-go-round. Think about it. The person, the people that's pushing on the outside, it's not really moving at first. You going around in that circle, you, you pushing. I'm talking about you really pushing to get this thing going. And then it finally starts to pick up just a little bit. It picks up a little bit, and it picks up a little bit. In a little bit, in a little bit. So, and it starts to really start going. So then you jump on. And guess what? The momentum just goes. It, the momentum is going. And that's kind of like life. You know, it's going to kind of, you got to start slow. And you're going to go. And you're going to go. And then you're going to finally get it going. And you're going to finally get it going. You're going to finally get it going. And then guess what? It's going. You're going to have to jump on. You can ride it a little bit. Then it's going to start slowing down. Well, guess what you got to do? You got to hop off and, and, and go a little bit harder. It's kind of like the merry-go-round. As you keep on going, you, you'll you see as, as the momentum. But like always, I love to just leave a couple more tips. And I wanted to, I got seven of them wrote down here, but I'm only going to share three of them with you guys. If you want the other ones, just feel free to message me, and I'll get them to you. But it's seven motivational quotes uh, pretty much to keep keep up the momentum in your life. You know, whatever endeavor it is in your life. It's the seven motivational quotes. And so, quote number one is uh, by Arthur Ashe. And, you know, Arthur Ashe said, start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. See, I see so many people put off things that could actually be started today, whatever it be, may be. Maybe it's, you know, training extra hard to make the basketball team, studying extra hard to get better grades in, in classes, you know, uh, maybe starting that business that, you know, maybe you've been putting off, but 
You know, start where you are. Use what you have. Get going. You know, I, and that's important. You can't never build momentum if you don't ever start. You know, we can always, I'm telling you, I tell you this because I, I know. We can all make excuses over and over. Or we can all have good reasons, as we like to call them. But at the end of the day, either you're going to do it or you're not, it's just an excuse. You know, it's just another form of an excuse. You know, I learned that from one of my mentors. Like, hey, it's just another excuse. So start. Whatever it is in your life that came about, start it, you guys. Uh, quote number two by Winston Churchill. It said, the pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity. An optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. This is big because so it's it's crazy. If you ask kids nowadays, ask ask a kid you know below five years of age, ask them what they want to be, and the sky's the limit. You know they want to be an astronaut, they want to be the president, they want to be you know firefighter, they want to do all kinds of great things in their life. You know, and that's. That, that's really just, you know, dreams and goals, you know. But it seems like as we get older, we start to stop believing that we can do that. We start to think of every obstacle that can come about, that can hinder us from getting, you know, and that can stop us. <clears throat> you know, so when I read that quote, I thought about this. Believe in the unbelievable, y'all. Even though you may not see all the way through, if somebody else has accomplished it, guess what? You can do it. Even if somebody else hasn't accomplished it, you can do it. Find you a couple people that are rolling with you, and trust me, anything is possible. The Wright brothers wanted to, you know, have airplanes in the air one day. People thought they were crazy. Henry Ford wanted to have a car driving around. Now we got cars everywhere. You get what I'm saying? Steve Jobs wanted, uh, you know, pretty much technology that everybody can fall in love with. And guess what? Now we have all these amazing Apple products and just different things of that nature. So once you find a couple of people that believe in what you believe in, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Because when two or three come together with a common person, with a common purpose, anything in life is possible. And uh, so, and quote number three is by Beverly Seals. She said, there are no shortcuts to any place worth going. So if you want that six-figure residual income, if you want that you know, job, if you want to make to the NFL, you're, you know, you, you're training, you want to make it to the NBA, you want to make it to the Olympics one day, guess what? There ain't going to be no shortcuts. You're going to have to work. You're going to have to go hard. And you're going to have to put in everything you have. But trust me, it might take some years, but I promise you it will be worth it in the end. Um, you know, you got consistent elevation pretty much going on once you do that. And that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. You know, I just wanted to come on here, drop off some nuggets about momentum because I believe if anybody truly gets the concept of momentum, they'll understand that you can go as far as you want in whatever endeavor it is in your life, whether you start a new business today or, you know, or anything. Trust me. Momentum gets going for you, you can, you can achieve so many great things, but you got to first start, you guys. You got to start whatever it is, and you got to push it. You got to eliminate those bad habits, you know, make better choices, start implementing the good habits, and then once you start implementing those good habits, you'll start to develop a routine. And once you start developing a routine, you'll start to develop momentum in your life. But, hey, that's all I have for you guys. I don't want to hold y'all up. If you got value from this, feel free to share with your family and friends where, you know, where, you know, you think they can, this can definitely help them out. Feel free to share with them. Thank y'all again for tuning on in. Peace out. I'll see y'all tomorrow.